More upgrades are in the works at the Legacy of the Plains Museum as they kickstart the second phase of their capital campaign. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, Legacy of the Plains Museum announced the start of the second phase of their capital campaign yesterday, which was also jump-started with a very generous donation. Executive Director Dave Wolf announced details of the upgrades that will take place with a goal of attracting more of the tourist traffic that comes to the area, especially those visiting the Scotts Bluff National Monument. Site C is our, um, um, our maintenance shop to be able to organize that, but the, the main ones are railway, uh, the, the new building for some of our equipment, redoing or enhancing some of our uh, farmsteads, uh, so, and then the trail and then our parade grand, so. Wolf says the five-year plan focuses on the outside of the museum campus with sites A and B primarily involving improvements to the existing grounds and buildings. Platte Valley Company is boosting the fundraising effort with President and CEO Hod Kosman presenting a $100,000 check, saying the museum is an important part of the valley and its history. Well, two local residents and one panhandle business were among the 11 honorees recognized this week during the 2021 Step Forward Awards, a partnership of Serve Nebraska and the Governor's Office. Among those is Larry Massey, who is honored with the Senior Volunteer Award for his work through 1113 Ministries, By God's Grace Mobile Meals, and the annual Christmas Dinner in the Valley. Massey says while he's humbled by the award, what he does is really about helping address the issue of food insecurity locally and in the region. People have become more aware of the problem of, the, of what we're addressing and what we're facing and who we're trying to serve. And they begin to understand a little bit of the magnitude of the, of the issue out there so they can jump in and help serve. It's not a matter of the number of meals we serve and the number of people we interact with. It's the fact that the community as a whole becomes aware that this issue exists and they have an opportunity to help uh, resolve that issue or help address that issue in, in some meaningful, meaningful way. Also recognized was Carissa Shank with the Disaster Volunteer Award for her dedication to provide assistance through the Firefighter Ministry. And Dave's Pharmacy in Hemingford was recognized with the Small Business Corporate Community Volunteer Award for their involvement in charitable events and encouraging employees to be active in volunteerism. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, you don't have to be like a tortoise and carry your home on your back. They have mortgage experts that can help you finance the home that's perfect for you. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, looking for your next home, or simply want to refinance the home you're in, the experienced lenders at Platte Valley Bank are there to help. Contact them at pvbank.com or call and visit with one of the mortgage experts to take advantage of great rates at Platte Valley Bank. Welcome back. A Gehring businessman unhappy with the city's recent annexation of approximately 340 acres of land he owns has been granted a temporary injunction against the city on the subject. Paul Reed and Paul Reed Farms LLC filed suit in Scottsbluff County Court towards the end of November, naming the city, Administrator Pat Heath, Mayor Tony Kaufman, and all members of the city council as defendants. The plaintiffs claim that the proper notice was not received of a planning commission meeting on the subject back in October and that during the three readings of the ordinance in November, Reed was not given the opportunity to comment on the proposed annexation. It also says annexation will prevent continued recreational, hunting or farming use of the properties and that the annexation ordinance was unlawful as it was approved for financial gain of income by the city. Both sides agreed that the court could enter a temporary injunction against the annexation that would be effective with the start date of the ordinance, but only for the properties named by Reed. District Judge Leo Durbovroni approved the TRO this week. Well, the 20-year-old Gehring man has been sentenced to prison after pleading guilty to having sex with a 15-year-old girl in the summer of 2020. Colton Pettis was sentenced last week in Morrill County District Court to three to five years in prison after being convicted of first-degree sexual assault of a minor. District Judge Derek Weimer also ordered that Pettis register as a sex offender. 
Court records say the crime took place in a camper in Bayard, and the girl told investigators she believed Pettis was 17 year old at the time. And a man arrested following allegations into sexually assaulting a 15 year old girl back in 2019 has been sentenced to jail. 20 year old Isaiah Ramirez of Gehring was sentenced to one year last week in Scottsbluff County District Court. He was initially charged with forcible first degree sexual assault, but pleaded no contest to a lesser charge. Ramirez was also facing similar charges from a 2020 case where he was accused of sexually assaulting a girl who was 13 years old at the time. He received three years of probation in that case, but Ramirez will also have to register as a sex offender as terms of his plea deal. Well, coming up after the break, Bill Boyer in with your weekend weather forecast. KNEB.TV News will be back right after the break. Life care promises us that we are looked after and taken care of properly. If I didn't have life care, I would be probably scared to death about having enough money uh, for when I got older or when I got sick. Moving in here was uh, an easy decision and in fact uh, a no-brainer. I looked at it as actually buying long-term care insurance and in retrospect uh, a good move. One of the things that convinces me that we did the right thing is no matter what happens, we will constantly be taken care of. The whole thing is, is just vital because you don't have to be worried about what's ahead for you. It's there, it's in black and white, and that's reassuring. This is home, it has been, uh, from the day I moved in. year 2020 was. Now is the time to get out and travel this summer to see family and friends you were not able to see this last year. Spend more time enjoying your trip by flying United Airlines, operated by SkyWest with daily flights to and from Denver. Reserve your flight today and remember United Miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. And don't forget, Thrifty Car Rental is here for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and hitch a ride with your BFF, Western Nebraska Regional Airport. This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, we're left with clearing skies across the area this evening with temps falling down into the teens under that fresh snowpack. It's going to be a cold night tonight and really a cold day tomorrow, thanks in part to the winds picking up. Uh, we're going to see winds coming up tomorrow pretty strong in some areas, some blowing snow concerns, especially where we got some of the heavier snowfall. Then temps turn milder for Sunday through Tuesday before the next system. It does look like it'll be mainly dry, though, coming through on Wednesday of next week. 51 was your high yesterday. That was early in the morning uh, before temps fell throughout the afternoon. Down only as cool as 30, and uh, we barely got back to that today. 11 hundredths of an inch of moisture. That's through midnight. I believe we added another 5 hundredths since then at least, so we're going to be above normal for the month now, but still three inches short for the year. Well, how are we doing for snowfall totals out there? Well, here's some preliminary numbers for you. 11 inches around the Lusk area, about 10 miles north of Shadron, nine inches or so, 15 miles west of Hemingford, report of eight inches, seven inches from the Agate area, and then lesser amounts, four inches around Lingle. Two to one to three uh, here for most parts in the North Platte River Valley by the time it was all said and done. Decent moisture out of this system though. Colder temps are out there tonight. We've got temps in the teens in the high country, 20s here in the lower elevations. 19 in Wheatland, 20 in Lusk, very cold conditions there uh, in the low to mid 20s elsewhere. Winds are still up there at around 15, 10 to 15, even closer to 20 miles an hour in some locations with gusts over 30 from Cheyenne over to Kimball and that is plummeting our wind chills down into the single digits and uh, teens for most of us. Very cold out there tonight, and it's going to stay cold through the night, and winds are only going to pick up for tomorrow. We have uh, high wind watches that are out for eastern portions of Wyoming. 
the wind prone areas, those are going to kick into effect over the next uh, couple of days. In fact, the winds are going to stay up in those locations. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that for us. Future cast tonight shows mostly clear skies. If there's any remnant flurries or snow showers, they will quickly move out this evening. We're going to dry out, cool down uh, as well tonight. Lows falling into the teens for most of us. A few areas may not get uh, out of or may not even uh, fall down into the upper teens. Can't rule that out. Now, tomorrow we're going to see a lot of sunshine out there. In fact, a day pretty well full of sun, but we're going to see some wind conditions. It is going to be windy from time to time, and we're going to be dealing with areas of blowing snow. Again, where we have the uh, heavier snowfall totals is where we're going to be concerned most about the blowing snow that is in this general vicinity. So again, uh, if you're in those areas, that's where we're going to pay close attention to this blowing snow threat for tomorrow as we go through the day uh, with uh, those winds picking up out there. And temps are going to be colder in those snow-covered areas, warmer along the IED corridor where there was little to any snow, 40s there, otherwise uh, 30s for most of us for tomorrow. And we don't see much more coming in the way of precip, very little, if anything, from a, a few light uh, snow flurries or snow showers enough to add up to uh, maybe a couple hundredths of an inch, uh, and any additional snowfall amounts are going to be very, very light out there and uh, certainly not amount to anything. So tonight's low is going to be down around 16 with clear to partly cloudy skies. Winds pick up tomorrow. Windy at times, we're going to see north winds 15 to 25, gusts over 40. Lots of sun, though, and 40 degrees for your high. We warm up even better than that on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, all three of those days in the low to mid-50s. We drop down a bit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, back into the 40s. Wednesday, a little breezy right now, mostly dry with that storm system passing in uh, and even colder temps as we get towards the end of next week. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing. Welcome to Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor, if you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. Who is Hydrotex? Hydrotex manufactures and distributes over 300 different high-performance lubricants, including fuel conditioners, hydraulic and transmission fluid, and more. We've been helping customers improve their operations for more than 80 years with products made in the USA. We sell directly to customers and can even deliver right to your door to offer excellent service and value. Our products are made to exceedingly extend drain and grease intervals to reduce maintenance and labor costs to improve the budget. Whether you're in a factory, farm fleet, or like to go fast, Hydrotex is here to help. Visit your local Hydrotex dealer in person or online today. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee. Only from the Great Big Small Bank, a bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Here at the Nebraska Ag Expo, new technology is something that always brings attention to the folks attending. And this time we are visiting with Grain Weevil here at the Farm Credit Services of America Ag Innovation Showcase. Ben joins us now. First of all, Ben, tell us a little bit more about Grain Weevil. What is it that you guys do? Grain Weevil is a grain bin safety and management robot that we have designed to keep farmers out of the grain bins and replace all the work that they're doing with a shovel or a rake or a pole inside of the bin. And this is something that you guys had the opportunity to bring out to the Farm Credit Services booth. Tell me more about what folks are seeing. 
Yeah, this is the first time we've really shown it to this big of a crowd, and we're getting some really good feedback, some really good reactions. You know, we've been driving it. We had some kids driving it earlier, and it's been a lot of fun and um, getting some really good connections, people to people to test with, people to go and see how they're doing their operation and see how we can fit in with that. The grain weevil can bring a lot of benefit, I think, to producers. Tell me about those benefits. Well, the main benefit that makes us so passionate about what we do is keeping them safe. Um, you can't really put a price on keeping our farmers safe, and that's the main thing we're trying to do. But then on top of that, we really want to show um, the impact we can have on the management side of our farmers' grain bins, uh, making that process easier for them, um, taking away some of that stress with uh, having grain go bad inside the bin or, um, or any other problems that they have, and we can, we can help them along in that process with our robot. And Ben, you were explaining that you guys just keep innovating and keep finding more ways to make this product better. Tell me more about some of the, the testing you guys have done. Yeah, last week we went to Tennessee and tested on rice for the first time and the robot performed great. Um, and there's other interesting uh, opportunities for us in different materials like beans and, uh, and pistachios and hazelnuts and different, uh, different, just different bins full of stuff that we can drive on and, and help their processes. All right, that again is Ben joining us with Grain Weevil for this Ag Innovation Showcase brought to you by Farm Credit Services of America at the 2021 Nebraska Ag Expo. The Evergreen Credit Card by FNBO. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase, every day, everywhere. Never worry about expiring points or category restrictions. Plus, there's no annual fee, only from the great big small bank, a bank ever ready for you to earn more, wherever life leads. Evergreen by FNBO. Let's take a peek at what's happening on your weekend community calendar.
The Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant, and full service gas leader. Why bank at a local community bank? When you choose a local community bank, you keep money in our local economy. That money helps support local jobs, schools, and businesses. Money that helps fund a stronger and prosperous community for us all to enjoy and live in. At Platte Valley Bank, we are here to help build and support the community we love being a part of. We believe that together, we can make great things happen. Platte Valley Bank. And finally tonight, officials with Community Action Partnership of Western Nebraska received a significant grant from a local financial institution this week. Great Western Bank presented the service organization with a $10,000 check from the bank's Making Life Great grant program. Branch manager Derek Vock thanked Kaplan staff for their efforts to make living in the region a better place and serving the community's needs. The funding will go towards operating expenses and continuation of services provided to area residents. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you back here on Monday.